Well, I'm running solo today. Needed to run a quick errand and Timba is taking a nap. We actually went over to visit a neighbor who has a most precious, adorable little uh, English bulldog pup. I say a pup. Gunner is a year old, but he's really kind of small. He reminds me a lot of Jay Kubasek's dog that uh, we get to see from time to time, English Bulldog as well. So um, it's just really kind of fun to watch Timba play with Gunner. In fact, Timba's almost at the point, well, no, Timba is bigger than Gunner. It's so cute. But uh, they play really well. Gunner loves Timba, and Timba just gets so excited. Well, she just got totally wore out, so she's not with me on this trip. One of the things that I wanted to talk about, uh, again, I'm going to go back to this, is commitment. And a really noisy car just went by. I'm wondering, oh, okay, so now I saw him, and uh, he was going really, really fast. And he's really, really loud. But he's way up there now because he was going so fast. So anyway, back to commitment. Talking to someone the other day and they were talking about, Oh, well, Tim was just like having a baby. I'm like, yeah, it really is. Uh, it's, it is like having a baby when you're raising a service dog. I could have given up a long time ago. Which was possible with the mystery. Believe me, it ran through my mind a couple of times in regards to, I can't do this! When uh, Timba was, you know, nine weeks old and we were running up and down the stairs like almost every two hours there for a while. That didn't take long, so that was a good thing. So it was, it was the commitment of raising a service dog and the commitment you make as a parent. I've got two boys. And when they were little, you couldn't just say, hey, well, no, there are a couple of times I want to say, hey, take, hey, take them back, wherever they came from. <laughs> they need to go back. And I got to thinking how this really relates to our businesses that we create. And it took me back to, you know, 2004 when I actually started down this path on the, with this amazing industry. And our businesses are like raising children or a service dog. Now, I know there's some people out there that have had pets and they had good intentions, great intentions when they got their pet, whether it was dog, cat, bird, fish, turtle, whatever, great intentions of having that pet and raising that pet from you know, a kitten all the way up to full grown puppy, full grown dog, and sometimes reality kicks in. <laughs> like, you know, two o'clock in the morning running up and down the stairs. Or uh, with a kitten, they may still have full blown claws and they've just clawed up the curtains. And people have a tendency to go, oh, can't do this, can't manage this. This is too much, and they give the pet up because the commitment was there, but the why wasn't. The why I do what I do with Timba is bigger than frustrations, pains, struggles, of the Stairmaster every day. That's what I call the stairs. 20 steps. I need a step thingy. Anyway, I needed it back when she was eight weeks old. But the why absolutely outweighs any pain, struggle, or frustration raising this pup. The why outweighed any struggle, frustration, pain, oh my gosh, pain of raising my two boys. I knew, I knew in my heart of hearts what amazing boys they would become. And a lot of times it didn't have anything to do with how I was raising them. 
They're just good kids. Same with Tampa. I know in my heart of hearts, she's going to make an amazing service dog for someone that absolutely needs her services and her abilities. So it's the why. Folks, why are you here? Why are you here with the SFM DEA? Don't ever forget that. Always have that at the forefront of your mind and pain, struggles, and frustrations with your, with building your website or building your list or creating broadcasts, emails, and you're like, oh man, this is, I, this is too complicated. And it may seem easier. And at times it is easier just to throw in the towel and go, ah, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done here. And that could be because you have forgotten your why. Why you're doing what you're doing. Was it easy at 10 p.m., midnight, 2 a.m., 4 a.m., taking the pup down so she would learn? the appropriate behavior as her bladder was growing. I know, maybe it's a little bit too much TMI, but really, she can't wear a diaper like a human baby can, but hey, you still gotta change the diaper. What's the, what's the why? What is your why? Why do you do what you do? Here at the SFM. It's not to make the SFM a better place, is it? It's not about the SFM, DEA, at all. Oh, trust me, <laughs> we wouldn't be anything without each and every one of you. And you guys are phenomenal. Your journeys are amazing. But it's still about your why, not mine. Yeah, Tim is pretty cool. And she's fun, and we're working on barking appropriately when she's given the command to speak. That's been interesting. We are working on all of her commands. She'll end up with 31 commands that she will know, not proficient, but good, by the time she goes to advanced training. If you have children, you knew immediately what the why was. And yeah, maybe there's some folks up out there that have given up on their kids. But more have not. Sure, there's a lot of pets out there that people have given up on. But more that have not. Because their why is bigger. Folks, it's Friday. For some of you, it's already Saturday, which is kind of cool because I already know tomorrow is on its way for me. So go out. Have an amazing weekend. But this weekend, I want you to get really solid clear on your why right now. And always have that at the forefront. Always right there in the forefront of your mind when, oh my gosh, you're up at 2 a.m. because you're trying to get your website done. Or your landing page and maybe your links aren't working and you're burning what we call the midnight oil um, yeah your why will get you through that moment and you will live to market another day I live every day in the moment with Timba well I don't have any other choice <laughs> because my why is bigger than the pain, struggles, and frustrations. I hope that serves someone out there today. Just want you to understand how important knowing your why. And this isn't this isn't something that a lot of people spend time on. If you need help, we have an amazing program at the brand incubator level, the platinum level called Pinpoint Your Purpose. JJ is absolutely phenomenal helping our members here with their why. 
and it becomes concreted in. You start living through your why every day. And then when you have the pain, struggles, and frustrations, that why is right there at the forefront of your mind. And you're like, yes, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. So create an amazing weekend, folks. Focus on your why and just laugh and play and have fun this weekend. Maddie signing out. Cheers.